Uh, okay, so hopefully you can see the slides and the position. Note, uh, you may have a set of speaker icons somewhere covering. You can, if you click on those speaker icons, speaker profiles, you can move them around and you can make them smaller. The, the bar on the, the left hand bar just makes them all invisible so they've you can just see all of the screen if, if needs be. So this is the talk, be a recording, uh, we'll explain this. There'll be some natural breaks in the presentations uh, when I do a change of topics. So that will be the opportunity to, if there are any specific uh, questions that you have, just brief specific questions. I think yeah. any bells, that's uh, a signal I've asked um, Pauline, if she could do something like that, and that's just a message to me to say maybe we want to change things or whatever, and she can send me a message. There's a chat window and recording of starts. So, oh, and yesterday I took, made the recording of rehearsal for this talk. This is available on the website. So, the title of the session is really How to Get to the Top of Google. And this talk is really available for all sides, everyone here, on all skill levels. There's a couple of slides which are about doing things on a website. So you'll obviously need a website or you can speak to your, uh, have the skills to do that. But it's basically stuff that everybody can do and possibly should do. So if I move on to the next slide. So about you, you're a Morris or whatever dancer or a musician. You want to make effective use of IT to support your team and in particular the recruitment and publicity aspects of your work. A bit about me, 1978 I joined the Kingsburn and been with them for many many years. Um, I now dance with Haymarket Rapper which is the experienced dancers from the Kingsman or basically the old fogies and also Wild Morris here in, in Bridport. But on a professional level I set up one of the very first 100 websites in the world when I was at Leeds University and became a national web advisor to all uh, universities for 17, 17 years. But then when I retired, I became a comms and IT volunteer with the Morris Federation and I managed the IT resources section on the website. And so at the end of this session, I hope you'll have learned some simple ways of raising the Google visibility of your site a couple of simple Google search uh, commands to help tell you information about your website, the importance of links and how Google uses page ranks to rank uh, results, how to check your site's Google coverage and page rank if you have a, um, have a website, but also copywriting skills to create user-focused content. So that's what I hope you get out of this session. And also have a chance to have a general chat about what not only what you can do, but about what we collectively can do to raise the visibility of Morris. And then towards the end, we might want to talk about suggestions for further work, and case studies, and maybe Zoom workshops. So that's the goals. So this is the IT resources section. It was launched at the AGM. So you'll see there's a whole set of advisory documents here, checking key links to your website is relevant to the Google visibility. Um, and then there are a whole set of case studies, some really good case studies. And I hope we'd see some more of these case studies from people who are keen on sharing what they're doing in IT and then surveys. So earlier on, before we started, people were, were asking or discussing social media services. So there's some of the things that I've surveyed both a year ago and a couple of weeks ago on seeing how people are using YouTube. Westminster Morris is amazing. Twitter, uh, Shrewsbury is a, are amazing as well. So we can learn from what others are doing. But the focus of this talk is really about online visibility. And the background, I don't know if people have read the Jack Worth, Worth Morris census or the Zoom workshop about it. So it was carried out, I think, in December 2020. And this was a summary. So word of mouth is important. And then social media. And I thought, great, that's you know, really important recruitment um, methods that sides are using. But then 
we found out it's not very successful. And I thought, oh, that's a bit worrying. And then I realized that if the top methods are word of mouth, your friends, well, to be honest, that's not particularly inclusive, is it? And one of the things that I think the Morris sector is doing is trying to increase diversity in the Morris world. And just chatting to your mates or chatting to the people you go down to the, the pub with isn't very inclusive. So my challenge is to understand why digital in a broader context isn't working and trying to make it work. So that's the context for it. So in this talk, we'll look about becoming more visible in Google, achieving this in two ways, Google Business Profile and Google Maps, and then updating your Morris Fed Team Finder profile. And for those two ways, you don't need a website, you don't need IT skills, you don't need to know HTML, you just need to fill in some forms. There'll be a bit about understanding how Google works, and this will be relevant not only for your own side, but maybe for when you're looking, you're using Google to find things in any case. And then what I would hope you in your side might do, but also what we might do collectively in the Morris Fed community, because I think everybody here today is in the Morris Fed. And you might have tried this beforehand. If you're on a computer and you can multitask, you can swap tab from your Zoom window to a, a web browser and you can do a search like this. Morris sites near me. I live in wherever you live and you ask if there's a Morris team near me. Um, and I tried this yesterday. I live in Bolton. Bolton is there a Morris team near me. And Rivington, I've got, yes, number one out of 18,500,000, Rivington are number one. So I'm going to ask you if any of you have tried that. And in the chat window, if you've tried it for your location and you're pleased with it, boast. Chat, yes or no, if it's not successful. Um, I'm not sure if I can uh, find the chat windows just now talking. Um, so I'll look at that a bit later. But basically that's an overview. So you'll notice, you might notice up at the top right of the window, there's a little orange uh, icon. That means it's a change of topic. So if any, well, I'll, I'll, I'll move on now. I won't ask for questions just now because we just get started. And we'll look at the value of a Google business profile or Google Maps. So relevant to every side, not just Morris Fed sides and all skills levels. So a couple of years ago, it was probably four years ago, when I became involved with Wild Morris, I did a search for Morris sites near me and I found Dr. Turbeville had a location, but not Wild Morris. And I thought, oh dear, I'm going to have to do something about that. And I looked at how you did it and I created a profile for Wild Morris and it was a few minutes work, work and I thought we should all be doing this. So it is easy, fill in a few boxes, um, no IT skills needed and I've documented this in a, in a document here which basically says this is why you want to do it and you just visit that page, sign in, fill in a few boxes um, and it and it gets it needs to be validated for example you can't say i run a big party uh, place at 10 downing street so there will be the need for a bit of validation um uh, but let me move on and then once created it might take a few days for that to be validated and you can add some extra information which is useful so if i go into the admin interface this is what i see so basically i'll fill in a category, dance club is the most relevant category, address, website if necessary, and a brief description. So that's all you need to do. And then after a month, you get some stats. And I was amazed. Nobody visits our website, by the way. But here, there's about 500, 260 views on a Google search, 289 people on a Google map view. So looking at them, some people were uh, looking for things to do near Lyme Regis, and that's when they are based near, near them. They probably didn't want to come to our practice, but it gives you an indication that we are found. So 
why the popularity? So when I did this Morris side near me, this is what I found. So there's us, Dart, uh, Dartington and Dr. Turbervilles. But look, there's big gaps. Nobody in Bath, nobody in Bristol. And I do get London sides over here. So this is where I thought the community is missing out if people do search here. But why are we, is our, our profile so popular? So photos and videos. The Google say, advise you very strongly to have high quality photos and videos. And so that's what we've got there. And I'm really pleased with that. But also the rating and the review. We are a five star review, said one person. And it's the same for Dr. Turbervilles. No reviews, another five star, but they're a bit further away. So I'm guessing if, if it was if this was in London and we had everybody had a, a profile there, it would, might be weighed by the, the ratings. This is the best, most, most highly rated site. Because I suspect we all use this restaurants near me and it comes up with a set of restaurants and the olive tree gets really good reviews and a nice description. And yes, we go there as opposed to scrolling down to find one that's less popular. So reviews are important. But how do you get a review? Well, Morris, we have one review, one rate uh, ranking of five and a lovely review. And this was where we danced our first post lockdown street party. The organizer uh, said, sent me a message say, oh, that was great. Thank you very much. And I said, thanks for the thanks. Could you share that on as a Google review? And she goes, fine. So she, I gave her a link to our Google profile and she wrote this. Brilliant dancers and musicians, such enthusiasm. And she also, I didn't know the reviewers could do this, but she also uploaded these wonderful photos. So that was good. So how do you get reviews? You can ask an organiser, ask your friends and families, mom and our website, can you give us a review? Um, but maybe ask your peers, ask other Morris sides, or maybe you go to Sidmouth and you, the, the sides that really impress you, you give them a review. You know, so it's not just about your side, it's about being part of that community. Or you can write one for your own side, say how great you are. Some people might feel a bit embarrassed about doing this, but I have seen other people do do that. So that's getting reviews. I should say the quirks of searching. You might get different results for Morris side near me to Morris team near me. Look, very different. And also difference if you do a search for Google Club or Ensemble or Troop, Troop. and even pluralize, you get different results as well. So just, I thought I'd mention that. And that was one reason why in our profile, we said, while Morris is, we are, Wild is a Morris side, and we says, um, and some people, they're also referred to as teams or whatever. So that's, so both words, will be found, will be indexed and found by Google. So final thoughts, and I'm going to just pause there and ask for questions. So simple to do, text, photos, videos, importance, an FAQ, frequently asked questions might be useful, but you must remember to update this. I check mine and are we dancing out in public? Yes, so that was relevant during lockdown, but not so relevant now. So let me just stop the share there and ask if there are any brief questions related to having a Google profile. I know one person did say this already that's not quite sure if they've got it right. So for a specific thing, get in touch with me afterwards and I'll, I'll have a look at that. Is anybody, show of hands or raise your hands, if you've got a Google business profile and are on Google Maps. So, so Pump House are, uh, Kinney Word are, uh, anyone else just the, uh, okay, so not many there. So I think there's a, a real opportunity for sides there. Um, so let me, there are no questions. Martin, can I ask a question? Of course you can. If I create, if I'm 
that me, Pauline, creates a business profile and then I leave the team. Can someone else take that over? How does that work? Absolutely. And that's really, really important. So this is the whole governance. So something that I and that was something that I addressed right from the start of doing a load of online stuff for Wild Morris. I ensured that when I created the Instagram account and the Facebook up took over the admin of the Facebook account that there's somebody else who can who can take over so for all of those things and I say to people everybody must be preferred for re- for disasters for really bad things happening and as Paulie knows the disaster that I predict for me is if I won the lottery I thought bugger it I'm going to go on a round the world cruise people might be happy for me but they'll be worried about maintenance of the website so everybody should should think think about that so thanks for that question Pauline any other questions before we move on well just a comment following on that it, yeah. is that we, we created a generic email address yeah for, for our side rather than using a personal one no absolutely I yeah. should really have said that we've got wildmorris at gmail.com and several people uh, uh, look after that account um, and this was after I took over as events coordinator, the previous events coordinator used her personal account. And so all of that records of the contacts we had previously, the pubs, the festivals, whatever, that was invisible because that belonged to her account. So I would very much agree with you about the importance of a generic email account. So thanks for that, David. OK, let me just move on to the back to the slides um, so the next thing is about understanding the online community and its google ability if there is such a word so this is relevant to, for all fed sites but also if you want to know about how google works we all want to know a bit more about how google works so um, i mentioned about all of these resource surveys that i've carried out really since last august but more recently the most uh, two recent ones were about s- surveys of the google coverage of boris fed sides and the page rank and these are very relevant to this talk today so you can find you can go and see the full details in those in those resources so a couple of commands google commands are useful for you is site colon domain so if in google you do site colon morrisfed.org.uk or the name of your website you get some information about your website or indeed any website that you choose Uh, this works for a if you've got all your information under the same domain that's good if it's in a subdomain the in url might be better so slash and then the name of the side if relevant so anybody can do that so i don't know if you've done this pauline if you go to site colon morrisfed.org and straight away it says 925 pages on that site I thought, well, that's kind of reasonable but then you need to check it so scroll down to the bottom it says here are all the pages i click on 10 to get the final one there and then i keep on 20 and then i go to the end one which seems to be type 27 and then it says but these are all the same there's actually more um and so i click on repeat this search and i get some more and then it actually goes down and this is because for some reason it's now just checking the team finder page which is a slightly different area of the website if you've just got a simple website you just need to go to the end but i'm just mentioning that just in case you ever get confused by different numbers oh and the number when google gives you a set of a number of how many results it tries to give that deliver that result in a few microseconds so if it's on a busy time of day it's busy for google or for the network you might get fewer results because it just needs to give you those results really really quickly so the numbers can vary but this gives you a picture so there are about 260 team finder profiles there but about 900 in total so i did that for all morris fed team websites there are about about 330 but some of them didn't work there were some problems with them and so i didn't publish the full details just the the overall statistics which are shown there so 
47 websites have only zero or one page indexed by Google, which might be some configuration issue for them. So the, those with zero actually did email them and said, I think there's some problems there. And I, I gave some possible solutions, but most are between two and 10. Some up here have loads and loads of photos and history and blah, blah, blah. But the uh, the mode is two to 10 and the average, the mean is about 15 pages. And so this gave me a bit of a picture for what Morris sides are presenting to the world about what they do. So probably accurate for those in the two to 10. So that is the very much the norm, but there might be some problems here. and These might not necessarily be accurate. So you can all do this. You can all type in that command. And remember the Jack Worth survey? Um, that was, they did say it was Facebook or Twitter, but I would suspect people did the, the larger online type stuff. So if you're advertising for new members or your dance out program and your page isn't in Google, well, it's likely not to be fine. So you really need to find and fix those, those problems. If you do spot particular problems with your website, feel free to get back to me. Can't guarantee a fix, but if it's something that I might find a simple solution, I can get back to you. So you have a website. Hopefully you will have many pages found, but what if that looking for a Morriside in Bolton gives your website not on right at the top, as the case for Rivington, but on page two or three or even worse. So being in Google is only part of the issue. So ranking is important as well. So everybody uses Google. Uh, they don't disclose the search techniques because if they did, the evil guys would try and game the system. But in brief, the page rank algorithm, if a page, a web page has lots to link to it, must be important. And if you have a page which has lots to links to it from important pages, it's likely to be important. There's a whole very technical paper that I attended the conference in, in Australia about 1998, all about that um, by the Google guys, but that's basically how it works. And the bad guys know this is important. And Google sometimes tries to penalize the bad guys who use black hat techniques, try and fool Google. And what I'm describing is legitimate white hat SEO search engine optimization techniques and the approach I used was this if you just google open page rank tool you get this which is freely available the user interface isn't great home and click on something and basically copy and pasted the 330 websites into this tool I'm not going to go through the, all the details now but when you look at the findings you need to know about the page ranks logarithmic scale. This is one slightly techy slide. So on a scale of one to 10, how close are two and four? You might think, well, they're not too close. I've only scored a two, but if I try hard, I'll get a three and that's only one away from four. So I'm not too, too concerned. If you're a scientific mathematician, you'll know that 10 to the power two and 10 to the power four are very far apart. And let me show show you this. So this isn't quite a logarithmic scale, but it's a power scale. 10 to the one is, so 10 to the two is 100, 10 to the four is 10,000, very far apart. And I found a paper which illustrated this for Google ranking. So five and six are far apart, and similar here. So basically it's a logarithmic scale. So if you're here and here, you are still very far apart. And this was the norm for those 300 websites. So there's a paper which describes this and how I did all of this. So most are about three and the mean is 2.2. And what I found was that there were eight which were up here, but when I recheck those, six had gone, had dropped. And as I said, Google sometimes find dodgy websites, which aren't the Morris Fed web team website. It might be the links to them that they've got loads of links from Russian bots, spam farms, and then 
Google drops all of those and that might affect the ranking for legitimate pages. So who has high page rank and what are the implications? So when I checked those top eight, Cardiff Morris and Abraham Morris dancers had 4.18. So they're good. I've not looked at the websites, to be honest, but what, so I suspect the website set up many years ago with lots of pages to index and link to. So the implications for the rest of us will be, oh, if they link to us, that would help our page rank. But why would Cardiff Morris link to other, other sites? You know, it would look a bit odd for their users. But the good news is the Morris Fed website is 4.29. And for those who are in the ring and the Open Morris, their websites have page ranks in the fours as well. So these are even better than those top ranked ones. And so being linked to from the Morris Fed uh, is valuable for your page rank. Now, before I just move on to the implications, you need to think about what your goal is. And I, know, I think there are some techies here. Um, do you want your website to have a really high page rank? Because it can be time consuming and expensive advertising and, and the like and complicated software to install. But it might be that what you really want is for your site information to be easily found. And that is something that is easy to achieve. And I will show you that in this next talk. So I've explained a bit about Google profiling the community and how we could use exploit the Morris Finders team, uh, Morris Finders page rank value by the team finder to raise your site's online visibility. So to help in a query such as this. So I've explained how Google work and search engine optimization is about doing this type of stuff. And the focus is in doing this with by community type work. We don't want to feel your own benefit. We want the users to be able to find you better. And so here are some tangible things you can try out, which I did. I've got the screen images in front of me. So a use case might be somebody went to the pub, impressed by a vibrant side, remembers the name of the side, gets back home and wants to send a message to mate and says, oh, see these, these are brilliant. So they type in, oh, their name was Wreckers Morris Borderside, type in that. And there they are, 1,210,000 results and records is there right at the top. And it's the team finder link. The team finder information is right at the top. So well done, records Morris. So they're there. If you know the, the name of the tide, that's really good. Another use case, which was my one, I've just moved to an area, to Bridport or Bolton. Wonder if there are any Morris sides there. So in this case, Mix Morris I, Bridport, which stands Cotswold and Border. And there we have our website and the team finder, which has those words, which I think are reasonable for a potential new recruit to search for. So there's another type of query that we can always relevant, I suspect, for all well, Cotswold and Border sides, you know, different words for different dance styles. Or what about new members? So I want to dance. I know there are lots of sides there and they'll all look really good, but they're obviously very experienced. I'm, I want a new, I'm a new member. So I want to dance, wonder if there are any new members. So query like this, I should say in this case, I'm in private or incognito mode. Google it if you want to do this. So Google won't remember that I'm always interested in Wild Morris. So doesn't know about my search history. And in this case, we've got Wild Morris and Kingston Morris. I've got those. Mix Morris side, Mix Morris side, welcomes new dancers, welcomes new members. And we are top of that generic query, which anybody can type in. So I'm really pleased. Wild is number one. Kingston will be really pleased. There seems to be number two. But what about, but, um, the Kingston, oops, um, but that one isn't great for people who might live in Kingston, not going to go to, to Dorset. So somebody might type in Mix Morris side in Surrey, which welcomes new members. And here, Kingston are number one. 
out of 589,000 results. And there are nine magic words in their profile. This, the profile just consists of those words. And it got them to number one. It got them to number one because they were on a highly ranked website, a moderately rank, ranked website, which was the Morris Fed team supplying the service. So there were now those nine magic words, plus the fact that Surrey is already in their addressed information. So 10 words, which get them to number one for a relevant query for potential new recruits. So that's what I would like everybody to do, but in a, with appropriate information for their side. So let's just go back. So um, a year and a bit ago, when I joined the Fed as a volunteer and I looked at Team Finder and I thought it's really dull and boring. So would you want to join a Morris side if this is the information that you got? It's like picking up a telephone directory for something to do and browsing through. It doesn't, there's no excitement there, is there? There's no photos and the like. And then Pauli may remember this. She sent me a, forwarded me a message about updates to the Team Finder software called Membership Works. So you can now add rich descriptions and photos and videos. And I said to Pauline, that is really, really exciting. I want to do it. I want to play with it. I spent some time in doing things, which eventually led to, 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 to this. Um, let me just uh, uh, chat. Um, just Is it the case that the MF site links to the sides? Uh, for some reason, the my chat window is really big text and I can't read all of that, but uh, every Morris Fed side has a profile and you can update this. This is all under your control all, and I'll show, I'll show you that in a bit. So basically, um, when I first heard about this, I said everybody should have something brief and factual because I didn't know how it would look in the layout and the like. So I did this. And, but then subsequently, I told a number of sides um, to try it and I looked at what people were doing and people were adding richer descriptions. And I said to Pauline, can you add a rich description about Rivington, which gives people a feel for the culture of the side as well as, of, of the, as, well as the factual stuff. So this is, is what they did. This is what uh, Rivington provided. So if I... And the reason why this is important is Google is kind of blind. It has difficulty in identifying context. So if it was the brief factual thing along those lines, we're dynamic rapper side looking for new members, rapper new members, that's good. We only dance rapper. But, the con but when I, I discovered this with some of the early tests, also picked up the contact name and the address. Um, Pauline knows that some people know Vince Rutland. So you do a search for teams in Rutland and you get that person. And if, you, if in this fictitious case, you did a, a search for Cotswell Morris or Northwest Morris or Headington Morris, you get this rapper side. So I realized we needed to structure the wording. So we is ambiguous for Google. But in this case, if Rivington had, we are a women's side, Google would say we. I'm looking around for what we might mean. And it might be this, it might be Riven Tomorrow's, but it might also be the Black Road Sports. So it's now unambiguous. We're Riven Tomorrow's or a blah, blah, blah. So that factual thing of name of the sides, women's genre, where the practice welcomes new dancers and musicians, that is absolutely great. Everybody should have something like that. And then just in the past three or four weeks, I've realized the value of the additional information, which has more Googleable information, uh, adds some differentiation to the different uh, profiles, and also is intriguing. Uh, infamous clog butties. So that I thought, oh, people might come and that sounds interesting. I want to know a bit more. And then the other thing is you can create a hashtag, hash Rivington Morris. And then if you apply that, to all your photos and Facebook posts and all the rest of those things, it will aggregate them all together. Maybe with the team finder profile at the top, because the Fed website 
is as such a high ranking. So that's what we have. Photos are important as well. Photos can be found. But how does Google know what a photo is about? So if you do a Google search for um, uh, for Wild Morris, for example, oh, look, all of these are Wild Morris. Um, and how does it know that? There's a text nearby. The links you provide are not see photo. The links, the anchor text in a, a link is very valuable. So don't say see, val see photo or click here or for to see more. Just give something like Wild Morris because Google say this is probably a photo of Wild Morris and it's probably taken on that particular date. And finally, for those important photos, rename it. So it's given that extra context that people may search for. So that's some of the on the page SEO. I, did, I said I wouldn't really talk about on the page SEO, but there's some three little things you can do. Um, and so those photos going back to the team finder, you can upload them to a team finder and you might have a nice name, as I said, and I might have this information, this contextual information about it. So rather not just a photo in itself, because Google say don't understand what this is about. Now it will know something about it. The same is true for videos because you can also add links to YouTube videos and Vimeo videos, as I've done here, and a similar set of brief summaries about what in our case five videos are. And what I tried to do was the dancing, the musicians chatting away, an interview with a founder member the wacky things that people were trying to do during the pandemic and a bit about the we sing and play and have a thing as well. So that's what we've been doing. Does it work? Prove to me that it works, you may say. So you can all do this if you do a Google search for, include the quotes, quote hash modified profile, end quotes. This is find me a page which must include hash Morris fed profile. So that's an unusual term, which is really only used in Morris fed team profiles. And if you click on the images, you get the wild ones, which I mentioned, but also some of the other sides, which have started to upload their photos as well. And it's the same for videos. And you'll notice that I'm not quite sure where it gets these things from, where it gets uses these snippets as well. So for these two, it's just getting the generic thing which the team finder system provides. But this is stuff that the sides themselves provide in their profile. Question you might have, I just occurred to me, I was checking this this morning, how often are profiles indexed by Google? And so this morning I checked and oh, I was very excited. On the 1st of April, there were an extra 10 profiles were added. So it doesn't do them. It doesn't do every page, doesn't do it straight away because the web world is actually infinite. And so Google slowly, it's getting old and it gets tired. So it takes some time for indexing pages and can't guarantee that we'll index every page. Um, but what we have now is 279 pages from profiles are now in Google. So I'm really, really pleased with this. We had some technical problems back uh, last um, October, November, we eventually sorted that. So now they're starting to getting indexed. And the most, one of the most recent ones was Rackerback. I don't know Rackerback, but here's a great summary of what they've put in there. So exactly the type of thing that I think we could all be doing. And as well as the quote hash Morris Fed profile, you can add other search terms, hash border, hash Cotswold, hashes because these are keywords that the system knows about. And there's also the general text such as this. Again, remember to go right to the very bottom of these pages to get the overall numbers. And I checked this earlier today, 279 hits. So 
22 for Cotwell, 54 for Border, 17 for Upper. You can do a location. So I looked at London, I went through them all, and one of them is London Road, Hena, and Derbyshire. Oh, and I also was looking at kit. Uh, I looked at uh, Bells of London City. They had a nice profile. They described their kits. So I thought, I'll look at their kit. So I typed in corset and I got one hit and some photos of corset. That was the only advert I saw in this. Um, but that's the type of thing that you can add um, in there and how you can use this to help the searching. And so here's going to be a bit of an ex exercise. Uh, Kinney Word or however, Morris. I think this is a great website. I looked at it uh, a few days ago. And so the content is typical. It's ranking and it's pages index is the norm. And the content is got right, or five tabs up there, links to Facebook and Twitter, a nice link to the Morris Fed down here. And it's got everything you want. The name, where we're based, how long we've been going for, dance style, a bit about how we dance, our kits, weekly, where we go to, I was happy to have new members, we've got YouTube, you know, blah, blah, blah. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, so congratulations. Uh, can we make it, can we make the content about the team more discoverable was the challenge. And the answer is yes, by adding some words. But what words? That is the challenge. So we need to decide on the words for the team finder. And it's going to be an exercise for this, what to say. So it's something called personas. So this is a, a methodology in the web development world. Think about a person. Write a description of the person and how they would respond to your website. So this is a fictitious person called Mary. And she has, she knows what she wants. I want to learn Morris. I live in Kenilworth. And what would we find? So try this, try this yourself for your own sites, your own areas. So Kenilworth. Um, so this is what I found a couple of days ago. So up at the top, well, it's Morris Fed hit because we've got a, a good ranking, but it's actually a review of the workshop they ran quite some time ago. And then the rest aren't about Morris Sites, except down the bottom, not sure how you pronounce that name, but it's, I'm in Kenworth, oh, that must be the site I ought to join. But I might not like Facebook. And earlier on at the start of this chat, we were hearing some people, they just won't use Facebook. So what do we do? So good pay, good website, but the Google ranking is just the same as many other sites. Um, and so if you type in the name of the site, if you know it, it will be there, but not for a more general query. So we need to think about what other queries people might use. And so this is gonna be an exercise. I'm gonna ask you to shout out or post shortly. So here are some personas. So this was Mary, I mentioned, she'd moved to the area, uh, with her husband, she decided to do some exercise. She, Morris dancing. She thought she'd give her a go, so she entered that query. Potential new musician. John's been learning accordion. He likes to play some tunes with other people. Oh, by the way, he doesn't drive, so that might be an issue for him. Newly arrived in England, Anastasia has just moved. When she was in Odessa, she enjoyed folk dance, but it wasn't cool, her friends told her, but she loved it. So she might be amenable to, to doing it. A folky with a disability. The person who, we saw some Morris dancers at the weekend. Um, we were at Coventry and we saw her side and they were really great. They didn't use sticks and hankies. I think they had clogs. I'm not even it's called Morris and I can't remember the name of the troupe because she doesn't know that they're not called troops or whatever. I can't remember the, the name of the side, but it's got a weird spelling. So how do you help this, this user? Uh, event organizer and the local journalist. So thanks for Jenny for suggesting this one. So somebody just wants a, an article in a local newspaper for the 1st of May. So what would they search for? Um, and what would you write in order to help those searching? So I just want you to spend some time thinking and then get your PC out and start chatting away. Maybe it doesn't have to be a 
a full sentence. It might just be some words or some ideas, either for Kinney Word or for your own site, um, what to add to their profile. And if you've got time, you can provide a Googleable description for this photo, because I think it's an absolutely fantastic um, photo. One thing that did occur to me was, was, was this, but that might be um, a bit of a, an in-joke for your website. Um, so if I just go back to this, I'm just going to leave it on the screen. And what I hope you will do is you will either send something in the chat window, public chat window, or also unmute your mic, because I'm now going to, I'm sorry, I meant to, so those were the personas. So if, if somebody wants to say some things, stop share. So over to you guys, it's your homework. And I'm quite happy to stay here for the next hour and not say anything if you want to. I've tried it a little bit for um, Plum Jerkin in Warwick. And I've got about several hundred pages about Warwick University. And uh, a, a Dr. Richard Morris, who works at the university, I think. And uh, nothing about. Uh, from Jerkham at all. So, so do you have a do, do you have a website? We do. Okay. Uh, so I suspect this will be one. If you if you want to paste your site's website into the open uh, page drag tool, you'll 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 find where it is and it might be low. So if you add some if you add it might be the words that you already have on your website that you can just paste into your team finder profile. So 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 yes, if you're in a large city which has a university, you might find that you've got a problem in being, being found, whereas the sides in smaller towns and villages might find it easier. Linda? If you Google, if you just put in the search engine, looking for a Morris team near Warwick, yeah. Plum Jerkham come up high, right. top. Right, good. So, good. Yes, so I know who you are anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I've tried various different things. You're Is right. that with the incognito on though, Brian? Or you need to check, don't you? Sorry, say that. Um... Is that with the incognito search though? Because otherwise it's going to come up with things you regularly. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yes. So it might be, Linda, because Google knows that you live near Warwick and you're always interested in things from Warwick, that will right, put yeah. that at the top. Yeah. Thanks, Pauline. Can you show people how to do that incognito thing? Yeah, I'll do I'll do that uh, when I go back. Any other thought? How might you um, inclusivity? So if this is an important thing for your side, we've had discussions in the Fed and in the JOO JMO context about how do we make how do we ensure that Morrisides isn't just something for you know white people and engaging with ethnic minorities and the like. Has anybody given any thought to such issues in your side and how you might address that um, by providing the type of things that people might look for and then find you? Maybe not, which is fine. <laughs> okay, any other thoughts or comments before so this is what, uh, uh, let me just go back. Uh, hang on, one Check thing. the chat. Brian. I'm just going into the chat, yeah. Um, um, Brian, I just did a search for, uh, for my side, uh, yeah. Watford. And actually, um, the top of the ranking is uh, Woodside Morris Mend, because I put uh, Morris side Watford. Yeah. And, and yeah, my side's come up fourth in the list. But yeah. at the top is Woodside Morris Mend Wikipedia. Now... Is getting an entry in Wiki, is this something that... Uh... <laughs> that oh, is... My favourite topic, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Woodside have, have probably got the best Wikipedia entry of any oh, have that they? I've right. seen. It's, yeah. a it's a shame it, they folded, it's really isn't it? It's fantastic, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, that is a huge issue. If you, get, if you go to the IT um, resources section of the website, yeah. you'll see there are about five documents that I've written about Wikipedia. 
Okay. So, so basically, yes, it's great if you've got an entry about your side in Wikipedia, because they are huge at the top, as we've seen. Um, and it's really difficult, not technically, but culturally, because, and by the way, I am a qualified Wikipedia trainer. Um, so you have to, the culture is, you have to provide information from a neutral point of view. So you shouldn't write about your own side and your information must be should be verifiable. So if there's if there's information in a quality publication, uh, a newspaper, scholarly article, then, then that's fine. What is easy to oh by the way, I recently updated the Morris Dance, the Morris, yeah, the Morris Dance Wikipedia article. If you scroll down, there'll be something about uh, Morris and new technologies or Morris and the media. And I had the section about Morris sides and now using media and there's so many have got Twitter accounts and blah, blah, blah. I added that type of information. Um, but what is perhaps more achievable is to add some media resources about Morris sides. And the challenge there isn't so much the neutrality. You can post photos of your own side, which I have done. Um, but um, ownership, so information, photos, videos in Wikipedia or Wikimedia Commons, um, which is a separate thing, need to have an open license. So anybody could use them for any purpose. And the easy way of doing this is to say, I took the video and making available for anyone to use. Um, and some people like to have, many people like to have control or ownership of their resources. If you go to, if you look at the res, uh, one of those files, it says there are s about seven or eight videos of Morris dancing. And I uploaded three or four of them of uh, Lyme Regis Day of Dance last year. It would be great if there was more there, but that's, uh, <laughs> I think that's a whole talk in, in itself. Um, but thank you for raising that. It is um, potentially very important. So if I just go back down to this, what I'd suggest is this is the type of thing you might want to do yourself. Go down to, to the pub with your fellow dancers and think about who you want to recruit and what they may be. So this is a, a proven methodology in the web design world about thinking about your users. Um, so what next? I think there's just a couple of, so the, aim, the goal is to enhance the visibility of the sides. So this is what we're trying to do for you. Sides with no digital presence. So you don't have to have a website in order to have a profile. You've all got profiles in any case. And then also the wider Morris is, is, is great independently of the teams. So we're doing this by <sighs> encourage everyone to update the profiles, learn about best practices, and then doing things on a a uh, community level. So this was just a snapshot by well, a couple of days ago, 62 sides had provided additional information in their team finder. So they'd added uh, textual descriptions about the side and um, or photos and videos. And 279 pages have been indexed by Google. So, so what I'd like to do, my vision is for the AGM, you've all written a great description, at least 10 words, maybe even better like Rivington and, and, uh, uh, and, and the like, provided photos and links to videos with some text. These are things you can all do. Uh, and then if we've got that information there, we, I can look at how they're being used to highlight some examples as I've done, look at how the pages are being indexed and about how searching is delivering traffic. Google just needs to index everything. So as I say, over 50% have been done so far. So that's a vision. Once we've got all that information in, we, you guys can all do these searches, or as I showed. And then we can promote that search approach widely. So we can say to Sidmouth, oh, by the way, in your folk festival program about Morris dancing, why don't you say people can find the sides by using, using this information? Or in something aimed at in the Northwest, say hash Morris profile, hash Northwest to find 
information about teams that dance northwest or in regional newspapers and with tourist boards so here in dorset we might say to the uh, visit tourist do a search for visitors to dorset might want to do hash Morris profile dorset to find all the local sides in, in dorset so once we've got enough we can start doing the advertising campaign and we might have a discussion about this whether it's a crazy idea or not we'll have a discussion shortly but i'd just like to move on so this is just the final set of slides see and, and it's just coming up to six o'clock so pauline i have done a 752 slides in an hour as i promised um so this is the for those interested in google and those with websites so we're all interested in google we all use google google search for morris dance 85 and a half million hits remember it delivered that 0.46 seconds if it was busy there might have been fewer hits um i just uh will the slide say yes the slides are already uh, available including an audio chat of me rehearsing it last night so 85 million hits um Uh, scroll down on the, still on the first page and remember it's a bit of a pain if you're on a phone doing this scrolling you'd likely just follow the first page the first few hits what do we get uh, something <clears throat> from yours.com leisure nostalgia from 2004 oh my god um, is up there let's not yeah and then another feature article in the daily info uh, and then we scroll down a bit more and go into page two does anybody go to page two? We've got an ad there from the FDUS and then something, an academic article from uh, Canada about what Morris Dance is. Is it based on rhythm of stepping and execution? Oh, well, I think we've got a better view or better understanding of what Morris Dancing is. So that's where we are, we're on page two. Wouldn't it be great to be on page one? And that's just for a, a search for Morris Dancing. If you do a search for Cotswell Morris or Northwest Morris or other type of issues, we'll probably, we might be even further down, we might be even further up. But. So this is what I've learned from the Google Search Console. So anybody who's got a website, you should be able to get one of these. It's free. So I look at this often. Um, so this was, look what happened on the 1st of May. <sighs> yes, as you'd expect. So. And this is the clicks and impressions. A click is when they click and go to our website. An impression is when we're on the page, but they don't actually click. So we might be scroll down below the scroll. So for a search for Morris Federation, Morris Federation, uh, COVID, the Morris Federation, 87% of people do it, type that, then go and visit us. Yeah, because they know what they want. They're going to go to the Fed. Morris dancing near me only eight percent visit the morris fed website and to be honest i'm not surprised with this you do a search for morris dancing near me and you'll see a big map and you go directly to a map to one of those sides you're not going to go to an intermediary if the fed was there and i might say team finder and yeah the user think about the user do i go to some morris dancing near me or to go to this thing called team finder what is team finder will i have to sign up will i have to pay all of those uncertainty so i'm not surprised at that um, but for Morris Dancing, 0.3% of the impressions come to us because we're on page two and everyone's disappeared off to Wikipedia. So that's the reality. That's the evidence. Uh, uh, that's what the evidence tells us. And it's important that we are make decisions and plans based on evidence. So link building is the secret to an improved page rank. So Remember I said Wikipedia is the guard and BBC and the gov, uh, the gods. Incidentally, gov.uk, they used to have lots of little websites and then there was an edict, everything must be on gov.uk. The website became much, much bigger, much more, many, many more links. And so now if you Google for things, you'll find on gov.uk. So big wins in the web world. And so there's the Morris Fed and there's three of the people who are at this today. I have them, I'm not naming any names because, as I say, it's all pretty much the same and it's all pretty understandable. And remember, 
uh, let me just say, presumably search console is different from Google Analytics. Yes, that's correct, it is. I'll talk about that a bit later on. So your Google console, you need to have access to websites and you have to put in a secret code so it, now only you, only somebody with access to the website can view that type of information. So that's what we have. And what we would like to do is to boost that up. If we were 4.5, that would be absolutely amazing because this is our logarithmic scale. So how do we improve our, our ranking? So, so for you, you gain the benefit by having your content hosted on the website. We've covered this. And now we want to look at improve, improving the page rank for the Fed website. So this is another command which you might find useful. Use link colon and then your domain name. And this will tell you websites that link to you. So 3000 results delivered in 0.44 seconds. In this case, some of them will say here are links to related organizations where members for the Morris Fed and their website. So thank you for Somerset for that. So looking at this information helped me a couple of days ago, helped me think about our strategies for building develop further developments. And Pauline might particularly like that. If you do a search for proud members link colon morrisfed.org.uk, Hemlock, there's somebody from Hemlock here. Are you there? Uh, Pauline, buy the person a drink because look at what Hemlock have, have, have got. So I follow that link. There's a bit about a bit about Hemlock and maybe a bit about Morris and Anna the affiliations. We have this information. Proud to be members of Morris Fed website as a host of wealth of resource and information, blah, blah, blah. And I think the Morris Fed, I'm sure I can say, Pauline will love those words, so thank you. And I would say to Pauline, but no, the exciting thing is they're providing a link to our website because this boosts this slowly, um, helps our, our page rank. So that's the thing that I, I really like. But even better would be if every side could say something like this, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't have to be the same words. It's about having a link to the Morris Fed. So that would be good. That improves our ranking. So we become higher. So when people search for your, your website, they'll find our team finder profile and it will be higher as well. And you'll seem to be a wealth of community by saying these type of words. But building on that even further, you can say, you can then add on, you can see the blah, 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 Hemlock Morris profile and give a, a link directly to your profile which will increase the ranking for your profile. Currently, while Morris is there, because that's been there for a while and I've done things there, be nice if other sides replaced us or become higher. So something like you can see your profile on the Merris Federation team, team finder service with a bit of a sales pitch for what, for what that's about. Um, so I think that would be a real win-win situ uh, situation scenario which is very achievable so the command link colon domain is a useful search term for you to use Pauline you'll be pleased to know that if you search for terrible side link colon morrisfair.org.uk there are no hits so no there are no pages which says the Morris Fed is a terrible uh, terrible side which has a link to our so it's just to illustrate the type of things that you can do with that type of command so links from you guys with websites will increase our page rank and that will then increase the value of the team finder profile for your side and those appropriate words near the link will help google understand um, the context so that's my final slide this is at the start, that's what I said we try and do. Some simple but cheaper ways of raising the visibility of your site. A couple of simple Google commands to help you understand your thing a bit more, the, your website a bit more, explain the importance of links and page rank, how to check those things, an ex, uh, a methodology, you know, use of personas to help you, copywriting uh, skills. And we've got about 25 minutes, 20 minutes left for a general chat 
maybe about um, the specifics, but also about other IT related things people may have an interest in. That's me. So if you all want to, well, feel free. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let Pauline chair for the well, next bit. Thank you, Brian. You've worn me out now. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I feel? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of things in the chat. Do you want to pick those up first? And while yeah. other people are thinking of other questions and then if people want to put more chat in or raise their hand, um, which is under reactions. Yeah, we'll so, take those. So we'll start okay. with the ones that are already in the chat. Yeah, OK. Um, is it the case to uh, the MF website, the team find the links linked to whatever you put in your field? So that should really you, you can put in a website. So normally that's a standard website. You can also add links to your Twitter profile, Facebook profile and Instagram I, account, I think. Not many sites have done that. Uh, I think sides which do have those social media accounts, not necessarily added them. If you do add them, it will boost the ranking for them, in, as, as I descri described. Uh, uh, so that was, I think, Jeff. Chris was asking, use the hashtag TeamFinder on the web page. Um, not quite certain what is meant by that. Um, Chris, can you explain that? Yep, that was in relation to your earlier question when you're talking about the website and how they could increase their uh, sort of vis visibility on the um, internet. Right, so um, what, ha put that hashtag on your website or on yes, the Morris yes. uh, I don't think it would mean anything. Wouldn't um, catch it, but, okay. Uh, because team finder doesn't mean anything. One thing that did, did occur to me, and I discussed this with, with Pauline earlier. Um, so we've got the genres. So we've got hash, border or whatever. Uh, we've got location, which doesn't have a hashtag. And so that's um, might be misinterpreted or whatever. But if all teams in your profile agreed on, a, on the meaning of, of a particular set of import bits of information, so kit. So if you if we said the words near the sentence near hash kit, you described your kit. So uh, so the bells might say uh, uh, we are now that for our hash kit is homemade corsets or we are uh, have brightly colored. We have hash kit, which is made of brightly colored, blah, blah, blah. We could then say we could announce that if you want to search for kit, across the community. You can find it by doing the search for hash Morris Fed profile, quote, hash kit. And then you'd find all of those profiles which, are, which mention kit. So there might be other agreed terms, which we might say, let's have hash followed by this thing. It could be that we have a hash new members welcome. So, uh, or do we kind of assume that in any case, um, but that's something we yeah. might want to. So it might uh, be um, interesting to put some, yeah, hashtag kit, uh, Molly. Mm, let me think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so I should say these type of issues, I think, need to be agreed collectively. And we need to think about the downside yeah. of those issues. Yeah, call me sometime when you want to discuss it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hashtag. So last night, on a Saturday night, I used to go to the pub. Last night, I recorded the audio of the three sets of slides, which was really, really embarrassing because I didn't know how to pronounce Kinneywood. And so I'm dreading Jenny or, or Linda sending me a message and says, no, you're not allowed to say, you're going to have to re-record those things. Oh, please let me off, Jenny. <laughs> um, so they are, are available. If you go to the IT resources right at the very, very bottom, uh, you'll find the links to those things. And it's kind of embarrassing because it's got me doing the ums and ers and the like. Incidentally, there is a cap, there are automated captions available. So if you click in the closed caption CC link at the bottom, you'll get the words. And I've done a bit of editing for that. So um, yeah, so a few some of the typos, whatever. I'm told privacy issues. So, so yes. So, Rick, thanks for that. So, I think on some slide there, I do say Google or any other search engine. So, all of the 
search engine optimization techniques should be valid for um, DuckDuckGo, Bing and the like. I've actually looked at the stats for Bing, which is Microsoft search engine. Nobody uses it. When I last looked at these things, which is about six months ago, I think about, well, over 90% of search traffic was from, was from Google. But I'm not saying that people must use Google. If they use DuckDuckGo, I believe it'll work in the same way. It'll, you know, the same type of things will work. Um, uh, Linda says Instagram. Yes, absolutely. Um, if you look at the surveys, did I do one of Instagram? I think I did. If you look at the surveys, I basically carried out an analysis of all 500 sites. And of those, I've looked at the ones which have registered an Instagram account. And I've published the details of the top sides if they've got at least 100 or 1,000 followers or whatever. I try to focus on those good examples so other people could look at them and learn from them. Um, uh, it's easy to link website to YouTube channel rather than bed the video. That's a very good point. Uh, so, Pauline, I uploaded the videos, the recordings this morning, and I added them to my Morris Fed uh, Google or YouTube account. It should really be, uh, and it's unlisted as well, it should really be in part of the governance it should really be a proper Morris Fed type thing, but I only did this this morning. And the reason I put it in a, a web page is I can change it once we put in a final location, uh, we, can, we can do that. So uh, that was the reason for that, Jeff. Uh, and then uh, on our website, we've got lots of no, videos. We have a button that's linked, not great, but has to add, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying these things will be, um, uh, or, 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 or a golden bullet. You know, these are just how it kind of works and wouldn't it be useful if the whole issue is about what we do. Some of those things will be specific to you or your individual sides and others will be what we collectively can do. And what I would say is if we could do things collectively as 500 sides, some things we do collectively, that will be benefit for everyone. To, to be honest, um, a few months ago when there was just, for various boring technical reasons, there were only about 10 pages being indexed of the Team Finder profile, it wasn't worth me doing any, any, anything. But if we've got 500, it was worth us doing more development work on our side of things to make it better for, for everyone. Are there any more in the chat? Have you covered everything? I, I right? think that's covered the questions. Uh, if there's anything I haven't covered or anyone who posted or I misinterpreted, feel free to. Yeah, just speak. unmute yourself and ask. It's fine. Yeah, interesting, Brian. You said about um, DuckDuckGo. Uh, yeah. That, unlike Google, it doesn't track you anyway. Yeah. It might be a useful one if people start oh, using. Uh, no, ab ab absolutely. If you want, if people want to see what the people who aren't in the Morris world find, you can either. Oh, I said I'd I'd, I'd show I'd show this. Um, if I I have to be a bit careful about all the windows that I've got open on my machines for anything too embarrassing. Um, so sorry. Um, let me just. Carry on talking and ask questions while I just uh... yeah, having been involved with the development of Bing I yeah right okay <laughs> oh, were you all oh, right oh that's really great so who who do, who do you dance with Chris dead horse where's that based uh Whitstall in Kent okay um let me just share a screen again and it's uh right so if we share here so this is the I think it's the edge browser um, and if I click here, we can do a new in private window. Yeah. And if I do here, um, uh, we'll search here. So, oh, consents. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> Not quite sure. Oh, uh, I agree. 
right so basically it's a private so we see it in private and i've done a search and it doesn't recognize it doesn't remember i think i think it knows where i'm from because my broadband is going to somewhere near so it knows where i am but it doesn't know what i've looked at before and so this is a more detached view and so we still got the yours and oh who are rattle jag morris so there is is one kind of there so basically it's called a in private or incognito window and it's very useful for if you want to search for things that you might want your might not want your other half to find out about like the surprise birthday presents that you're going to get her do an incognito <laughs> search it's a bit more difficult to find in firefox it's a bit a bit deeper hidden that one. okay okay yeah well, I'll, I'll, I'll send the details through for you yeah it, it, if you could send me some uh, oh incidentally i should have said when i was talking about um uh, might want to open it, it up to other topics that people might have or other contributions so i mentioned that we've got a series of um, case studies in which people have talked about the redevelopment of their of their website there was something about how northgate rapper were using facebook about their particular approach to using facebook it'd be really really good i would say to to hear a bit more to get other case studies from you guys oh and incidentally if you're at a case study you can have a link to your website so there'll be extra links from you so you get the google value of it as well or you write a review of this talk so that was why the uh, kinneyword website um kinneyword was was at the top because somebody wrote a review of the workshop that they ran recently so okay rick just a quick one for chris on my firefox there's a menu bar three little three horizontal lines on the upper right if you click on that you'll see new private window yep as i say it's it's a, it's easy to find if you know where to look but yeah you don't make it that easy with firefox yeah i'm on the development team for them it's one of the things we've been looking at so yeah i can i just say something um i've not heard of um mishmash mish can't say it now phil's team mishmash morris so i just did a quick google thing and their website is excellent it's really easy to navigate if you're not brilliant like me um and uh it's really it's really good i really like it phil <laughs> and you I mentioned the morris fed <laughs> as, as um, brian said earlier write a review about it and get them posted f yeah. further up the oh, well, oh, absolutely so does anybody think that they're going to go and do something different tomorrow or have a chat with the fellow officers and do something different in the next uh, week or so, which might be uh, creating a Google business profile or updating your uh, your profile on TeamFinder? I see a couple of people. Yes, thank you, Jenny and Linda. That's good. Uh, I think we need to, I think um, Linda and I and the rest of our committee need to pick some key words and certainly write a bit more for the Morris Fed um, prof, yeah, um, profile. I didn't realise, and I probably missed this, that um, you could actually include photos now, for example. So oh. uh, that, that's great. Well, that's only since Brian has come on board, to be yeah. fair. <laughs> and well done to Brian for finding all that out. Well, th th thank, thank you for Paulie. But to be honest, I should say it's not only since I've been on board, it's also since it's been technically possible to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was why you forwarded me the email about well, development. I thought it was all you, Brian. <laughs> um, <laughs> afraid not, afraid not. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, right. So there is one thing. If you look at the Wild Morris um, team profile, this was all stuff that I did ages and ages ago, a year ago. So that was when I didn't quite know what to do. And so there's just a brief description. And this is kind of the, the, shoe, the shoemaker's son. I'm not, others are doing better stuff. But if you look on ours, there is a other resources page. And what you'll see on the other resources page are links to a couple of PDFs. 
And so what I thought was, wouldn't it be great if people could add some maybe text documents? It might be a, a text document about the history of your side. It might be the programme for the year. It might be your constitution, blah, blah, blah. So um, you can upload such text <coughs> documents now. If you go to that page, you'll see it looks a mess because it's unformatted. When I tried to make it structured, it added that tab on every profile. And for everybody else's profile, it would be empty. So people would click on that other resource and there'd be absolutely nothing there apart from um, a, bu a bullet points which aren't there. Um, so this is one of the examples where if collectively we all start to do that, it would then work worth doing the development effort to make it look nicer. Um, I did ask about, you, oh, you can add, uh, we can configure it so you can add up to five documents. And I thought we could just say five any old documents, or we could say <clears throat> program history, blah, 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 and say it must be one of those things which might help people searching. And I put that on hold. Um, but again, that is a potential further development work. Um, oh, are there any more questions? Can I just say thank you to mm. Catherine from Hemlock for having for those wonderful words yeah, on your website? Absolutely, thank you. So, Brian, I think you you um, offered at the beginning. If I send you our um, page uh, address, you'd have a look. Yeah, you just see what you think in terms yeah. of. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah. because again, no. with Google Maps, we did, we did, we got a letter and had to validate the premises. And oh right, you've done through. all of that stuff. So yes, okay, yeah. I appreciate it. Um, is your email address around, or shall I say? Yeah, well, it's it's comms hyphen it at morrisfair.org.uk. It should be on the oh, okay. um, thing. I should say I'm going up to Liverpool on Wednesday to uh, to see my family, to see my sisters and nieces who I haven't seen for two years, and I think there's some. Uh, big do on in Liverpool on Saturday mm -hmm. as well. Um, I think it's Man United, Liverpool are playing Man United and there's a grand <laughs> national as well. So if any of you are going up to, uh, to, well, if you're going up to watch Liverpool, I'm not interested because I support the Blues, but let's not talk about football. <laughs> but I hope to be there for a bit of the JMO Day of Dance. So if you want to talk geek and you're up there, feel free to grab hold of me. That'd be good, Linda. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I've I've got to I've got to go now. So thank you very much, Brian and and thank Pauline you. for for this. Um, see you all soon. Yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to Brian for that. You can see the huge amount of work that he's put into this, can't you? We can all appreciate it. So would you mind if you're unmuting yourselves and giving him all a big round of applause, please? Give you a couple of seconds. To unmute. Here, here. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Excellent. And just so he doesn't